back to Angie in Wonderland. Just a couple of things. This is not my ideal setting for a video. I have a uh, one of these things that are sitting over here to my left that has to be put together and it's very heavy and I did not want to move it to film a couple of videos. So this is going to be my backdrop for just a for just this video. <laughs> Hopefully, and I'll get that shelf put up and then the backdrop will be over here. Um, my little shelf unit in my wall. Yeah. So, I um, sent out a poll yesterday on Instagram asking if you guys were interested in me doing an empties haul and I had like 75% of you said yes and 25% of you said no and 75% wins. So, we are going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to share you guys, share with you guys what I used up in the month of December and January. And I know we're in the middle of January because today's the 17th. And I uh, used a lot of this stuff up in December, but I have not like sat down and did the December one. So this is kind of be a hodgepodge of December and what I have used up so far in January. And I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just doing a video, like I'll do a February and March video. So it'll kind of be like maybe every other month that I'll do an empties instead of every month. I don't know, we'll see how that works out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on these uh, December empties. Now these are not gonna be in any particular order. I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff and we'll just go from there. Alrighty, so a lot of these things are repetitive because these are the things that I use every single month. These are like, I could say these are actually my monthly favorites as well because these are the things that I, my go-tos all the time. Uh, Tide, I use Tide Pods in my washing machine and I actually, you know, buy the refillable packs and I just sit them uh, in a little plastic container container that sits on top of my washing machine. So I always buy the refillable packs and as you can see I have now got two of these refillable packs from December and January. But I always like Tide. I always like the way that it makes my clothes smell. Very very good stuff. Love Tide. So uh, all right so let's just stick with laundry. Um, these are the Downy Unstoppables. Two of them. I finished up both of them, December and January, and I actually just went and got, I actually need to go get a new one. I haven't gotten one yet, but Unstoppable. I love the way these smell. Again, these, I just buy these and I just dump them inside of a plastic container that I leave sitting on my dryer, my washing machine. <laughs> and then I just leave the scoop inside of there and then I just scoop out a cupful and then just toss it in the washing machine with my clothes. And my clothes actually smell super nice. I love these things. They're so good. All right. So with the laundry, Downy. I actually finished this up and then I went and bought Bounce. So I kind of, like I liked this, but I always thought Bounce was just a little bit better. And not only that, is that there's not a lot, there wasn't like a lot in here. So I feel like I used this up rather quickly, even though there was 105 sheets. So that's 105 dries. But I still feel like I used this up and then like the Bounce one is like so much bigger. So I do like the way it smells and it still smells really nice in the box, but. I like those. I mean, I would use them again if they were like on sale or if they came in like a bigger box. Alrighty. So Christmas candles. I used up one, two, three, I think Christmas candles. Yeah, three Christmas candles. And this one was the, I don't think this one, this one was winter candy apple. This one was the one that smelled good. I think in December I shared an empties from November and that's when the candles I did not like, but I did like the winter candy apple love these and i'll be honest with you i am almost out of candles at bath and body works from bath and body works i have not gone and restocked up on anything recently but this is the spiced apple toddy this one was good too these are good i like apple spice for fall so like october november december is when i like to burn these the most so these ones got burned a lot as you can see i used them up and then this one this one Oh, these ones are always my favorite. This was the Indigo Sky. Love these. Super good. I love the blue. It's so pretty. Uh, but anyway, that one was finished up. Okay, so I also finished up my wallflowers. I, let's see, Brian and I went to, where did we go? Huntsville in December. And I got a few more. I think I got five of these. And I put them in my little things around the house 
right away because I knew I was out and I'm almost out again. Uh, but I did finish up these, I think there's three or four of them in here, three. Um, did finish these ones up and again, I don't ever know the scents that I finished up so I just wanted to let you guys know that I did finish up three of those. I'm watching I know 210 in there and it just went off. Okay, um, I finished up two of my makeup removers, which is the Neutrogena. You guys have been following me for a little while. You guys know that I love these things. I actually keep, I travel with one. I keep one in my bedroom and I keep one here in my drawer right there. I always have some here because I always use them to use uh, to wipe off makeup on my face um, and at nighttime I use them to take makeup off of my face and then also when I'm traveling but I love the Neutrogena's and I've said this before I've used other like makeup remover wipes and other ones have irritated my skin they've made my eyes water they've burned these are the only ones that have not and I have tried others <laughs> but these ones have always been so good so I always go back to the Neutrogena's Alrighty, hair products. So a lot of you, well, I wouldn't say a lot of you, a couple of you I think are new and they have, you've asked like, what products do I use in my hair? And I let you know, um, but these are the things that I use in my hair. Um, this is a blow dry it thermal smoother cream. This stuff I put like, um, a, like a quarter size on my hand, right on my palm when my hair is wet, right after I um, comb it out after a shower, I just put some on my hair, my hand right here and then just put it through my hair really, really nicely, get it all in there. And um, it's so nice. My hair is so soft, it's shiny, I love it. This is like the best stuff ever. Um, I travel with this stuff as well, so I used up one for travel and one here at the house. Love this stuff. And then the L'Oreal Blow Dry It uh, Quick Dry Primer. Now, after I put this stuff in my hair, I pull my hair back like this and clip it and I will blow I will spray um, just this on the um, on my hair and then of course I'll just comb it through and then every time I take down a section to blow dry it before I blow dry it I will spray this on my hair so each section gets a spray and man I love it I use it when I'm traveling and I use it here at the house because I absolutely love it alrighty uh, I finished up the aromatherapy. Uh, this was the body scrub from Bath and Body Works. I have, I that was like part of my like mission last year for like New Year's goal was to finish up all of the like body washes and scrubs that I had from Bath and Body Works before I went and bought any more. And I am still working on getting rid of and using all of the body washes and scrubs and stuff that I had from Bath and Body Works. So I'm still on that like mission to finish all that stuff up. And this is one of them that I finished up. And I really like the way that this smelled. It smelled so nice, and I think even Brian used it a couple times, and it was just, it smelled so nice. So we both really liked it. Alrighty. Uh more hair products. Alrighty, so I used up my Herbal Essences. Uh, this is the Argan Oil of Morocco Shampoo and Conditioner. I used both of these up and I think I'm about ready to have another one that's empty as well. And I think, oh, it's still in the bathroom. Um, but what's funny is I, my sister, I left these at my sister's and my mom's house uh, back in no, the beginning of November. And uh, I did, I forgot that I left them there. But anyway, my sister used them and she loved them. And so they now are using the Herbal Essence Morocco Morocco conditioner and shampoo. They absolutely love it too. So I was like, yes, I told you guys, it's amazing. I love this stuff and it just makes my hair feel, it's soft and shiny. It's, I just love it. It just, and everybody like, oh my God, your hair is so pretty. Well, it's the shampoo. <laughs> it's the shampoo and the L'Oreal products, trust me. Okay, and then um, as soon as I get out of the shower, right before I get out of the shower, I turn, right before I turn the water off, I use baby oil and I just kind of squirt it all over my body and just kind of beads off. And um, it just keeps my skin really moist and it doesn't let, it's not dry or anything like that. So I love, I've used been baby oil forever. I think since I was in high school, I've been using baby oil. I think my mom got me started on that. My mom still uses it. My sister, my nieces use it. So this is just something that we've always used and I absolutely love it. And I think a few of you have actually left me comments before saying that you've tried it and it's been amazing. And I'm like, I know it's great, isn't it? It's just so nice for your skin. 
Speaking of Johnson's, this is my always, all-time favorite go-to lotion. I use this stuff. This is Johnson's baby lotion, guys. I use this stuff every single time I get a shower. Brian uses this stuff. It goes on my legs. It goes on my elbows. It goes on my arms. It goes on my belly. It goes everywhere. Love this stuff. And... I've been using this for years. I don't use any other type of like body lotions except for this. This one is the one I use all the time. And like I said, Brian uses it as well. We both love it. Um, he doesn't use it as much as I do because <laughs> his skin still remains dry, but I use it a lot and I really don't have any, I don't have to fight with like dry skin or anything. Alrighty. Uh, I finished up the uh, Myers. This is the Iowa Pine Scent Dish Soap. This was so perfect for Christmas time because it just smelled like a pine tree. It just smelled Christmassy. And I absolutely loved using this in my sink. I loved wiping down my counters with the counter spray. It just smelled so good and it just made it feel so festive and it was like very holiday-ish, if that's a word. Love this stuff though. Definitely will be um, using it again next winter for the holidays because it's just great stuff. All right, almost finished. Uh, I finished up, this is the uh, Clean and Clear, and I knew I wanted to try some different face washes. Um, so I used up the Clean and Clear, which I have been using for quite some time. And I really do like the Clean and Clear, but I kind of wanted to try something a little bit different. I think it's good to change up things. I know if things are working, don't change it, right? But I mean, sometimes it helps to kind of change things up. Your skin changes with the weather. And so I just kind of went to a, like a Noxzema, just back to like a traditional like Noxzema that I would that I used to use when I was like in high school. I love the smell of Noxzema but Clean and Clear was always good too but I just kind of switched back to Noxzema so I definitely won't be purchasing any more of these until I'm finished with my Noxzema or if I just choose to go back to these or I stay with my Noxzema or not. All right so I also finished up the Summer's Eve. This is so good. I actually love using this stuff for I like using this stuff for, you know, those intimate areas. It just, it's really nice. It's instead of using like a harsh soap or body wash for that area, this is made for that area. And so it's not harsh and it's just real soft and it's for that area. So it's really good, but I always use this stuff. And I actually have a bottle with me when I'm traveling as well. Alrighty. Um, I finished up the, um, this is the, what is this, Legendary Lengths by Ulta Mascara. I finished this up. I norm I always use Maybelline. You guys know I am a Maybelline girl when it comes to the mascara. But every once in a while, I will try something different, and I always go back to the Maybelline. But um, I do use this, like, with the Maybelline just to kind of give my lashes a little bit a fuller look, a little bit, um, fuller look. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but anyway, I finished this one up. And then um, this is my cascade. I'm almost finished here. I have two more things and then I'm done. Actually, three more things and then I'm done. <laughs> um, but this is the cascade. These are the refillables. I actually have a plastic container inside of my sink hanging on my door and I can just grab one of these and just pop toss it inside of my dishwasher and hit start and I go. Um, but I always get the refillables and this is one of them that I got. Um, I think this was like recent. This may have been like a recent one, like a January purchase because I think I was pretty good. Um, I probably won't need to get uh, any more for a while. All right, the this is like my favorite go-to Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Love this stuff. I swear by this stuff. I will always use this stuff. This stuff is amazing. Uh, it is a little bit pricey. I think it's either $22 or $25. And I usually try to get as much out of this as I possibly can because of the price of it. But when I know it's empty, it's empty. Can't help it no more. But this is this stuff is so good. Um, it just has a little tiny applicator just like this and I just put it on my eyes, blends it in with my finger and my makeup, my eyeshadow does not come off. It does not flake. It stays on all day. It looks as good in the morning time when I first put it on and it looks the same in the evening time right before I take it off. So it's amazing stuff. I absolutely love it. I have some up here in my drawer. Love it. All right. Almost finished. I promise. Okay. You guys have been following me for a while. For those of you who have, you guys know that I suffer from IBS. 
and some days are great some days are bad and I have been taking this ultimate floor by renew life for oh my gosh I want to go maybe three years now going on three years four years now I'm not really sure I can't remember but uh one of these every single morning and it has definitely helped I I'm not saying that I never get sick because I do, uh, but it's definitely helped with the frequency of me getting sick. I used to get really sick if I ate something, I'd have to rush to the bathroom and then I'd be sick for like the rest of the day because I just would just be sick. And this stuff helps. So it's really, I love this stuff and it, it's very expensive, it's about $25 a bottle, but sometimes it's on sale at like Target for like $17.99 at Kroger, you buy one, get one half off. So you always can look and when it does, I usually stock up because I cannot live without this stuff. This stuff has been a life changer for me for the past three, four years, however long I've been using it. Love this stuff. And then lastly, I finished up which didn't it seem like it took forever even though i use them all the time uh i used up or maybe this is like the first time i'm sharing it i don't know but these are the swiffer like sweeper wipes and i use a swiffer to um swiffer my hardwood floors and my kitchen i use these on my kitchen floor which is just tile before i actually do a big thorough mop um these ones are just kind of like i gotta adjust my leg here <laughs> sorry Ugh. These ones are just like a quick, like, um, wet, just to kind of get some sticky stuff up off the floor really quick before I actually do a thorough mop. But yeah, these are perfect for my hardwood floors. They're good for hardwood floors. They don't damage them. They're not hardwood floors. They're not like real hardwood floors. They're like that laminate hardwood floor. But they're still great and they still work really, really well. Um, and I always use these. I've been using these for, for a long, long time. And I love the Swiffers. And they smell so good too. And they do a really good job. But anyway, okay guys. So that is it for my empties for the month of December and January. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. And... Man, if you guys don't like these, please let me know. If you do, let me know. Because I know sometimes they can get pretty, really, pretty, um, like, redundant. Because I'm kind of using the same thing over and over again. But I feel because I'm using the same stuff over and over again, that must mean that I really like this product. And that, that you guys will probably like the product too. You may or may not. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Anyways, I just, it's just one of those things where I use it. I like it. This is like a monthly thing for me and almost like a monthly favorites because these are all of my favorite products that I use every single month, obviously, because I share them with you. Alrighty. So that's it. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next time in Wonderland. Bye.